out now on Blu-ray from Arrow Home Video is another in their ongoing series of Shaw Brothers releases. Now, they released a big box set, which I... I will review. It's just taking me a long time to get through it. Uh, Shaw Scope Volume 1, which collects a large number of uh, classic and not entirely all the most mammoth titles they ever released, but all pretty well known is for fans of martial arts films. Uh, Shaw Brothers uh, Kung Fu movies. And they've also, Arrow is now releasing individual titles that are not in that box set and won't be in the next box set summit coming out. So it's really, it's kind of a new golden age for fans of uh, 70s martial arts movies between uh, the book These Fist Break, Break Bricks and all the screenings that are happening and all these uh, 88 films and Arrow films, uh, Shaw Brothers releases. So we're talking about the Arrow release of the 8 Diagram Pole Fighter from 1984, directed by Lau Kar Lung and starring Gordon Liu, who you may know from uh, Shao, uh, what was it, uh, 36 Chamber, Return of the 36 Chamber, and uh, he's also in uh, Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill, or one or two, I can't remember which one, he's in the Kill Bill. Put them together, it's one movie. Uh, so basically the story here is a, a father and brothers go off to battle and they are slaughtered. All but two are slaughtered. And one returns home to his mother and sister's sort of severe PTSD and crazed. He just, he keeps screaming a lot and, and thinking he's in the middle of battle and, and severely mourning the loss of his uh, male relatives. And the other brother... Uh, each think they're the only one who survived. The other brother is Gordon Liu. Uh, Alex, I'm sorry, Alexander Fusheng is the PTSD brother who returns home. And Gordon Liu is the other brother who goes off and finds, uh, seeks refuge, finds refuge in a monastery uh, where all of these Buddhist, bald Buddhist monks are uh, titular pole fighters. And they train on uh, disarming their enemy by uh, working with these wooden wolves, these wooden like training wolves that are, are they're almost, they almost look like something out of like Voltron or something, but they're made of wood with these shiny metal teeth. And they're taught how to basically defeat a wolf with the pole and detooth it. Because when you take the teeth out of the wolf, there's not much the wolf can do and the wolf will just wander off and leave you alone. Remember that. Uh, so it's, 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 it's back and forth between, you know, bad guys trying to, uh, take over and take advantage of the surviving sisters and mother who are all, you know, badass in their own right as well. And Lou training to try to, you know, kill the people who killed his father and his brothers. And, uh, eventually those worlds collide and the things happen. I'm not going to give much away. I will say there at one point in this film is coffin foo. There is an amazing training sequence with those wooden wolves and some poles with Gordon Wu, Gordon Liu. And overall, the, the choreography is outstanding in this. And Liu is very good. And Fu Sheng is just crazed in this film. Last film he ever made. He died uh, in a car accident very prematurely. He was a rising star for Shaw Brothers. And uh, they had to sort of finish the movie around the fact that he did not live to finish it, shooting all of his sequences. Um, there's actually... On this Blu-ray, there's an extra that was a little tribute to Fu Shang that aired in movie theaters when this film premiered that was sort of looked back at his life. And and unfortunately, like some, if I recall correctly, like some uh, Bruce Lee memorial things, might have shown some footage from his funeral in it too. Um, hey, this guy just died. Now enjoy him in this film, basically, is what that was. So this film is outstanding, and it's got a sequence at the end. Again, I hate to give things away, but I can't not mention this. This could be the this could be the, the deal sealer for you. Uh, there is a big sequence where the monks fight the bad guys, and they use, let's just say they use their defanging via wooden stick trick on a lot of the bad guys, and it's totally insane. I had to rewind it and show Val. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Seeing so, Eight Dime Grand Pole Fighter is a film I'd heard of for years. I'd never seen it until now, and boy, wow, is it good! It is just it is it's what you want a Shaw Brothers martial arts movie to me. I was very uh, surprised that this was from 1984 because when you watch it, you would swear that this is a, a mid 70s Shaw Brothers movie because there's nothing that really tips the hand that it's later. It's not like it's not like the later seasons of Happy Days where everybody just started wearing 80s haircuts and was like, "Hey, how about that President Kennedy?" while I blow dry and spray spray my hair to look like, you know, Farrah Fawcett. Um, this, this is a period piece. And everybody, it's, you know, I don't know if it's period accurate, but it's period accurate to what Shaw Brothers was doing all that time. So it looks like a 70s movie. So uh, a bunch of extras here, which I'm going to have to, again, read from this because uh, I don't have my, my usual, usually I have a laptop just over here with my notes on it, but I can't, I can't, 
I can't do that in the car. So uh, what you get with this, oh boy, you get the alternate opening credits as Invincible Pole Fighters. You get the tribute to Fu Sheng. Interviews with Gordon Liu, Lily Lee, and Young Ching Ching from 2004. These are excellent. A lot of these Shaw Brothers discs have these long career-spanning interviews where it's just the camera person and the actor, and they just they just tell you their life story, and they're, they're just fascinating. Uh, newly filmed appreciation by critic uh, and historian Tony Raines. He's on a lot of these Arrow stuff, and he knows the Arrow discs. He really knows his stuff. Uh, you get uh, you get the Chinese or English versions of it, so you can hear it in Cantonese or Mandarin language, or you can hear it with English subtitles, or you can hear it dubbed in English. Uh, for, for some of us who uh, remember seeing these on TV that way, it's a little nostalgic to be able to hear it that way. You get a new commentary by John Jonathan Clements, author of A Brief History of China. This is a really good commentary. It's very funny. It goes a lot into Chinese history and what, you know, this film is based on, so to speak, and the what was going on in that era. And it also goes into the, you know, information about the actors in the studio and all that. But I was surprised how funny this was. These commentaries tend to be not necessarily dry, but they tend to be just straight information. And, and this was, uh, I, I really I really hope that uh, Mr. Clements does some more of these commentaries. He may, I just might not have gotten around to all the discs yet. Uh, blah, 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 blah. There's a trailer image gallery, reversible sleeve with original and new artwork. And the first pressing has a collector's booklet with new writing on the film by uh, Terrence Brady. Uh, this was a really good release. I like all of, I mean, I like kung fu movies. I like uh, kung fu movies of this era to me are somewhat like spaghetti westerns in that I don't ever really dislike them very strongly, but some do rise more highly over the others. And I think hate, hate, eight diagram pole fighter is one of those that does rise above uh, some of the other period films uh, from Shaw Brothers and from other martial arts producers. So I would highly recommend if you like the Foo and you like the Shaw Brothers, uh, the arrow treatment on this is excellent. Uh, eight diagram pole fighter on Blu-ray.